In the heart of Holborn, on Lincoln's Infields, is one of London's most eccentric houses. It was built by Sir John Soane, one of Britain's finest 19th century architects. Born a bricklayer's son in 1753, Soane designed, amongst other things, the Bank of England, which was torn down in the 1920s, the Dulwich Picture Gallery, and several wonderful country houses. He was also a professor of architecture at the Royal Academy. He married into money in 1788, which was fortunate, as he was an obsessive collector of the arts and eventually needed three houses to house his vast and varied collections. Thus, over several years, he bought these three adjoining houses, which became a showcase to prospective clients of all the effective and decorative techniques that he could offer them. When you visit the museum, you'll see how Soane employed mirrors, skylights and mezzanines, curling staircases and other architectural sleights of hand to give the crowded quarters a feeling of spaciousness. The entrance gives onto the main dining room and library. On the wall is a portrait of Soane as an aging romantic by Thomas Lawrence. By the time this was painted in 1828, Soane had been mortified by the refusal of either of his wayward sons to follow in his profession. One wrote a savage critique of his father's architectural style. Soane thus decided to leave his house to the nation, on condition it was left exactly as it was at his death. Soane was an avid collector of art, and as well as three Canalettos and several Turners, there are two Hogarth series, The Election and The Rake's Progress, which hang in the picture room. Thanks to an ingenious series of sliding and folding doors, the picture room, which is a modest space, holds over a hundred paintings. Below the picture room is the monk's parlour, which was designed in homage to the Gothic revival. Outside in the monk's yard, as well as carving salvage from the old palace of Westminster, you'll find an elaborate grave to Fanny, his wife's dog, inscribed, Alas, poor Fanny. Wandering around this house, you are constantly being amazed by extraordinary wonders. In the basement, there is the sarcophagus of Seti, a pharaoh of Egypt, which dates from 1370 BC, and one of the finest Egyptian artifacts in Britain. Soane bought it when the British Museum refused to pay £2,000, the asking price. The whole building is a labyrinthine treasure trove. Every last inch is used to display Sir John's eclectic and eccentric collection, which is truly breathtaking.